I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Protect you and pray for you. Protect you and pray for you. I will partner with God. I will partner with God. To keep becoming all I can be for you. To keep becoming all I can be for you. I will stand by you always. I will stand by you always. I will honor your hopes and dreams. I will honor your hopes and dreams. And help you to fulfill them. And help you to fulfill them. I entrust to you my heart. I entrust to you my heart. And will give it to none other. And will give it to none other. Until death shall part us. Until death shall part us. I say these things. I say these things. With God as my witness. With God as my witness. Believing that he will give me. Believing that he will give me. The strength and the grace. The strength and the grace. To fulfill them. To fulfill them. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Marriage is God's idea. And it's, it's his idea not about your happiness. Happiness is a byproduct of the purpose of marriage. And the purpose of marriage is twofold. One is your own ongoing development into the character of God, your holiness. The best way to keep growing is to have a partner that is not like you and that can help provoke you and grow you. So that's the first goal. The second goal is that your marriage would demonstrate the love of God for a broken world. So as you love each other through brokenness, through mistakes, through all the trials of life, you're demonstrating God's great love. As you, as you love each other, you demonstrate God's love for all of us. And it's a powerful thing. As you do that well, happiness becomes an incredible byproduct of that. Ryan, by walking your daughter down the aisle before these witnesses, are you signifying that you give your full blessing to this marriage and that you're transferring your responsibility for Kate to this man? Thank you. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. What an honor to be here, and these people are not just here as witnesses, they are here to serve a purpose, and that is to provoke each of you to honor this covenant together and to be a strong and life-giving part of it. Now, what I mean by this is learn this woman. Learn everything you can and learn more. And Normally what I would word this advice is to be the lead lover, to be the first to apologize, the first to lean in. Uh, when you have fight or flight, choose neither and lean in. So this, I want you to put it somewhere where you will see it and just remind you, keep your head in the game about her. Love her, know her, study her, become an expert in her. You will know her by the time you're married as long as I have, you'll know her better than her parents ever thought of knowing her. Do you pledge to love her Honor her, keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful only to her, so long as you both shall live. I do. Kate, do you take Nathan to be your husband? Do you commit together to live after God's ordinance, the holy state of matrimony? Do you pledge to love him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful only to him, as long as you both shall live? I do. The wedding rings are a symbol of what you're doing today in three ways. First, the purity of the metals represents the purity of your love for each other. The uh, unending circle represents the vows you're taking today, which can be broken honorably in the sight of God only by death. 
And the ring throughout history has been a symbol of delegated authority. As you give and exchange the rings, you are authorizing each other to climb into the most private, sacred spaces of your own soul. And you're authorizing that to each other. I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no man separate. Nathan, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Schultz. like she did to me. As cheesy as it sounds, Kate has met her perfect match. Their love has shown everyone around them a true reflection of God's love. Nathan, I'm honored to call you family. I'm so thankful to have watched these two learn and grow in their relationship over the years. And I can't wait to watch you experience life together as you head into this new chapter of your lives in Massachusetts. May your love be unconditional, your next adventure successful, and eternal happiness for as long as you both shall live. To the bride and groom. 